Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. We are nearing the holiday season, and if you, like me, are on the lookout trying to find the perfect gift for all the people in your life, especially if you've got nerdy bookish people in your life, this video is going to give you a whole lot of options. Today's video is a holiday gift guide, and I will have ideas for all different ages and types of people that might be a part of your life. So if you're looking for some great suggestions of things you could pick up for the people that you care about during this season, stay tuned. I've got a lot of ground to cover in this video and I am going to loosely have it divided up into part one talking about options for young people in your life, children and teenagers, and part two having some ideas for adults or just general audiences, but there's also going to be some crossover. Some of the things I might suggest for teenagers could also be good for general audiences and vice versa. But before I dive into all the rest of my suggestions, I first want to draw your attention to something from the sponsor of today's video. I've got a brand new comic book that is coming out from an indie publisher. This is Kimmy Cosmic Volume 1 Escape from Complex 12. It is brand new, the first volume of what is going to be a YA sci-fi western comic book series that's a whole lot of fun. This is coming out through Earthtone Kingdom and I will have them linked down below if you want to go and check them out and buy your own copy. This along with a few other comics was funded by Kickstarter and they're just about to start shipping out finished copies so it's a great time to buy this especially Especially if you've got a young person in your life who might enjoy it. Here's a quick look at the Earth Tone Kingdom website where you can order the graphic novels. These are created by AJ Ambadu and the artwork is great. They have three graphic novels from the Kickstarter. Dragon Face Volume 1 is a horror mystery, so if you like that genre and you're looking for something for an older audience, that's an option. And Drone Slayer is a sci-fi thriller with Afrofuturism. All really great options. I had a chance to read this myself before filming the video and I can tell you it's really fun, it's entertaining, it's got a a lot of silly humor in it. You know what we really need more of in comic books? Space cowboys, right? It's fun for the whole family. It's a sci-fi space adventure. It's comedic. It's got some heart and depth to it. Go check out Kimmy Cosmic Volume 1, Escape from Complex 12. This is a really fun, cute project. It's got great artwork. It was Kickstarter funded. Kimmy is a girl who is half human, half alien. Her mom was a black woman from Earth, and she's trying to find her place in the universe. She is also trying to uncover the mystery of what truly happened to her parents while dealing with the evils of capitalism, as one does. It's about family and friendship and finding your place in the world, and it's got space cowboys. It's really fun. I'm not going to give you too much more than that, but I'll give you a peek at some of the artwork. It's got friendship, a lot of humor, some danger, and is a really promising start to what could be a very fun comic book series. So if you're looking to support indie comics publishers, if you're looking to support black creators in the comic book industry, I would definitely recommend that you go and check this out. I think it's fantastic. And again, there is a link to the website down below where you can go and purchase your very own copy. Huge thanks to Earth Tone Kingdom for sponsoring this video, and I hope you all will go and check out Kimmy Cosmic. Continuing with some other gift ideas, through the course of this video I'm going to talk about some things that are from small businesses if you want to shop small. I will have links to all of those businesses down below. Most of those are not affiliate links, but you can still check them out down below. And then some of the things I'm going to be talking about you can get through Amazon. I've been an Amazon affiliate for a while and I recently acquired an Amazon storefront, which is kind of cool because then I can create different sets of lists with particular items that I recommend and you can go and find the links through that to purchase. So I did create a holiday gift guide list, some of the things that I'm talking about in this video, in addition to a whole bunch of other items, I think I've got over 100 items on that list, you can find through the link down below to my Amazon storefront. I do receive a small commission on anything you purchase through my links, and that is super helpful in supporting the channel. So all of those links will be down below. With that said, let's go ahead and start by talking about some great gifts for kids. Now, if you're a parent, an aunt, an uncle, or for whatever reason you've got children or young people in your life, you might be wondering what are some great gift ideas for kids, especially if you want to do something that is more on the bookish side. If you have a little bit more of a budget to spend, you might want to consider a Kindle Fire. There are two kid-friendly versions of the Kindle Fire, 
and I will show you what they look like using examples from my children. They tell you which ages they're most appropriate for, they have protective covers, and they come with a full year of free access to the Amazon Kids content. So this includes things like ebooks, audiobooks, games, TV shows. And what's really great about these is that you can link them to a parent account and parents can manage access to screen time. You can decide how much screen time your kids have, when it begins and ends, if they have to do some reading, for instance, before they're allowed to play games on their tablets. These are great and they're a very affordable option, much more so than something like an iPad. So if you're looking to be the cool parent or cool aunt or uncle this holiday season, I would suggest maybe looking into a Kindle. They've been a huge hit for my kids. And if you're a parent looking to get it a little early, they're especially great if you're going to be traveling for the holidays because you can plug in some headphones and it'll keep the kids entertained while you're on a plane or in the car. Now, while you're shopping for a Kindle for the kids, don't forget yourself or other adults in your life. There are a couple of different great options for Kindles. If you are looking for a multi-use tablet that you can use as an e-reader, but you also want to be able to to use it to watch media and have it connect to things like Netflix or Disney Plus. There are different versions of the Kindle Fire, including the newest one, which is the Kindle Fire HD 10. So that'll be linked in the Amazon storefront as well as the other kinds of Kindle. Some people, however, prefer the Kindle Paperwhite. This is one that is specifically designed for reading, and I know a lot of people who like e-readers are fans of this. So all of those will be linked down below. They do make great gifts, and a lot of times Amazon does some pretty good sales right around Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So now is the perfect time to get some fantastic deals on Kindles for yourself or the kids. On this list, I also have included a few of my favorite middle grade books that I've done as nighttime read alouds with my kids. I like to read to them before bed and we've been making our way through some fun middle grade books. I will show you some of our favorites on screen. Some recent favorites have been Eva Evergreen's Semi-Magical Witch by Julie Abe, Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston, and The Last Last Day of Summer by Lamar Giles. I personally recommend all of these. I think they're fantastic. And if you're looking for some great middle grade books, either for independent readers or to read aloud to kids as young as, say, six, I think these are a great option. Now we're going to get into some crossover things. These are items that I think would make great gifts for teenagers, but would also make some great gifts for the nerdy grown-ups in your life. So some of us are still a bit young at heart. One of my favorite brands for nerdy fashion accessories is Loungefly. They do a lot of really cool officially licensed items with Disney, with Star Wars, with Marvel, with many different types of franchises. I'll show you two of the favorite bags in my personal collection, and I have added some of the most fun and bookish bags to my Amazon storefront. So if you're specifically looking for lounge fly options, either wallets, mini backpacks, or shoulder bags that have books on them that are for bookish people. I have a bunch there. They are really nice, high quality bags. They can be a little on the pricey side. Personally, I think it's worth it. And sometimes they're more limited edition. If you have somebody who is really into a specific franchise or who is a big book nerd and would enjoy something like this, I would recommend it. I also think these mini backpacks make great gifts for teenagers. They're useful and fun and cute. Continuing on with accessory ideas, you might consider getting higher quality jewelry that that still has a nerdy or bookish bent to it. In the storefront, I've got some specific items that I really like and think are nice, but these are higher quality pieces. They're gonna be sterling silver, plated silver, things that are a little on the pricier side, but are really nice jewelry with a bit of a geeky or bookish twist to them. I am a big fan of this because I have a nickel allergy and so a lot of costume jewelry I can't wear. It irritates my skin, irritates my ears, so I do need to wear things that are silver or gold. So this makes a great gift idea because it's high quality, you don't have to worry about whether it's going to be a problem for any allergies, and these are things that will last for a really long time. I can't talk bookish accessories without mentioning one of my favorite small shops, 
fable bands. If you've ever noticed that I have quite the collection of headbands and wondered where I get them, I get them from fable bands. They have some headbands like the one I'm wearing today that are more just kind of basic, go with everything. They also have a lot of different designs that are inspired by specific books or franchises. I'll show you images of a few of my favorites. I've bought a whole bunch from them over the years. I've got ones related to Shadow and Bone, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and so many more. They're really cute, really fun. I would recommend checking them out. And again, they will be linked down below if you want to go and purchase something. They're a fantastic small shop to support and really high quality. Before we get to some specific book recommendations that I think are very giftable, we're gonna talk about a few other book adjacent items that you might want to check out. A high quality reading light is always really useful, especially for people who are on the go. This is the one that we use and I have it linked in the Amazon storefront. I actually really like to use this this when my kids are going to bed. I'll clip it to their bunk bed and then I can turn off the lights while I'm doing their evening reading, which helps them actually go to sleep faster. Pro tip for other parents. But in general, I think this is a really great high quality reading light and it is rechargeable via USB, which is fantastic. If you have audiobook listeners in your life, you could get them a nice set of Bluetooth headphones. If you want to go real fancy, you can get the more expensive pods from the Apple Store. I have these, I really like them, but Skull Candy also makes some more affordable Bluetooth headphones that I think work pretty well. My husband has used these before and hasn't had complaints. So if you want to do something a little more affordable, that would be a good suggestion. And of course, there are audiobook bundles. For this, I am going to recommend that you check out Libro FM. For Black Friday, they are even doing a special discount, which is very rare for them. They don't do sales like this very often. So you can use my affiliate link down below to go and check out those credit bundles. I personally subscribe to Libra FM and I am a big fan of what they do. I think they're a great alternative for people who want to support indie bookstores. In fact, in your profile, you can select a local indie bookstore that you want the proceeds of your purchases to go to benefit. Mine is set up to benefit the Lit Bar, which is a black owned business in New York City. And so I think what they're doing in terms of profit going to indie bookstores is amazing. Their app is really high quality. It goes up to three and a half times speed. And I'm generally a really big fan of it. So you can of course purchase some credit bundles at a discounted rate for yourself, but these are also giftable. You can send them via email. And so if you have somebody in your life who is an audiobook listener, this is really the perfect holiday gift to send them. In my Amazon storefront, you'll find some other book adjacent items, things like protective book sleeves for when you're traveling with books instead of just tossing them into your bag. I am a huge fan of these. I will also link my favorite Etsy shop in the video description down below who makes some of my personal favorite book sleeves. I'll show you some examples of what they look like. I love the fact that she puts this little pocket in front so you can put pens or a notebook in front. And these are really good sized. I can even put some of my giant fantasy hardback books in these, which is not the case with all book sleeves. Of course, there's fun bookish totes, mugs, candles, and I even found these little bookish tees that have literary quotes on them, which is just a whole lot of fun. So if you have bookish people in your life, lots of options for giftable ideas. I'm gonna have a few other small businesses linked down below that you can go and check out that make things like candles or other self-care products. So if you're looking to support independent creators that make those, in fact, we have quite a few in our very own booktube community. I will link a live stream that I did last year up above where I brought on a bunch of booktubers who are also small business owners to talk about their products and talk about what they do. So you can still go and check that out. And a lot of them are still creating items that you can purchase. So I'll link that up above if you want to find out more information about them. Lastly, let's talk about books. I know we talked a bit about some middle grade books, but what about other books that you might want to gift to people? In that storefront, you can find some of my favorite books for gifting. One great option that I think you could pretty much give to anyone is a beautiful hardcover copy of Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. This is a nonfiction book I read this year and adored. It's an incredible book, but also the physical hardcover copy is quite lovely and would make a great gift. If you want to gift somebody books, but you aren't sure what to get them, 
A great option is to get them a special edition of a book that you know that they love, or buy them a nice copy of a book related to a popular movie or television series. Great examples of this include the brand new hardcover editions of The Witcher series. I honestly would love to have these for myself this gorgeous deluxe edition of Dune by Frank Herbert so they can catch up before the next film comes out, a special gift edition of Lord of the Rings or The Silmarillion, or Grishaverse books for fans of Shadow and Bone. Now, if you have somebody in your life who would be open to reading sci-fi and fantasy, but you want to push them to diversify their shelves a little bit, you could go with a fancy copy of an Octavia Butler book or a boxed set of the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Another great gift idea for fantasy fans in your life is these gorgeous 25-year anniversary editions of the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. And finally, for some more books that I think you can gift pretty widely to people, you might consider a nice cloth-bound edition of a classic. Here are a few of my favorites from Penguin Clothbound Classics and from the Penguin Vitae line. You can get really gorgeous books through these. They make perfect gifts. And you know, again, with the Penguin Vitae line, you can nudge people into a more diverse reading direction while also giving them a lovely physical object. Finally, there's a small press that makes these really beautiful editions of collected folktale and mythology from different parts of the world. Here are a couple of the ones that they sent to me, one with African folktales and one with first peoples or indigenous stories from all over the world. Again, either of these could make a really great gift. Hopefully this video has been helpful and given you some great ideas of things that you could pick up for the loved ones in your life. And of course, don't forget to go and pick up your very own copy of Kimmy Cosmic Volume 1 Escape from Complex 12 now. There is a link down below where you can purchase a copy for yourself or for a young person in your life and support a Black-owned independent comics creator. I love what they're doing and I hope to see a lot more from them in the future. Go check it out at the link below. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts on anything I talked about in this video. And for question of the day, tell me about one of the best gifts you ever received or one of your favorite or most memorable gifts that you received. I really enjoy finding the right gift for the right person. I think it's really fun and satisfying to see their reactions, and I would love to hear some of your experiences in the comments down below. If you like this video, it always helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.